All right, good morning, YouTubers. Happy New Year, January 1st, 2024. This is going to be my brand new channel, Carnivore Courier. I'll explain the name uh, and the type of content that I'm going to uh, be putting out here for y'all. Um, it's going to be self-explanatory pretty soon when I figure out the thumbnail, which is going to be the picture of the scale. This guy needs to lose some weight, big time. And um, courier, how to make money, specifically as a medical courier. And there's some other apps that I use too to make some money here and there. But this is my main gig. This morning I've got two orders. First one is at Bayonet Point, just a few minutes away from my house. And uh, it's a pharmacy order and I'm going to pick that up. And uh, I'm going to take it to Oak Hill, which is in Spring Hill. And um, from there, I've got another order up in Citrus County. And uh, it's also going to be going back to Spring Hill. So that's uh, not even 8 o'clock yet. I'm and having trouble connecting to the internet. Check your Wi-Fi network connection by going to settings. Okay. <laughs> that's my uh, fire tablet that I've got up here on my visor. All right. So this is going to be a wreck because... I've never made YouTube content before. I don't even know if it's gonna be exciting, but most likely it's gonna suck. <laughs> no doubt about it. Cause I don't even know how I'm gonna edit this yet. I don't even have an editor. Um, the only thing I did do was come up with the channel name, Carnivore Courier. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna get this pharmacy order. I'm not gonna take you inside uh, because I uh, don't want to expose anyone's identity, and I definitely don't want to get a HIPAA violation. So, I'll be right out. All right, uh, I am here at Oak Hill. It's 8.56. Uh, it was only about 10, 12 miles. Didn't take too long. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to deliver this pharmacy order, and uh, we'll be right out. All right, first order complete here at Oak Hill money in the bag we like that uh, my second order is in Inverse Inverness that's up in Citrus County uh, it's about 35 miles it's probably gonna take me about 45 minutes uh, this is gonna be going basically through the Withlacoochee State Forest so it's a really nice ride pretty views you know two-lane country road um, Let's go over here and get this pharmacy picked up. See you when we get there. All right, here we are at the Citrus Hospital in Inverness, Florida. Here to pick up my second order of the day, which is in pharmacy. Uh, this is a really small hospital. Uh, so I'm gonna park right outside the emergency room, which is right next to the main entrance. Most of the departments here are down in the basement you got histology we got the labs down there we got the pharmacy uh pathology shipping and receiving everything's down there so this one's pretty easy to get in and out of so i'm gonna go in there and grab that and then we got another order and i'll tell you where that's gonna be in a minute all right i got my pickup done uh this one was uh just four little boxes of some sort of uh pharmaceuticals uh, it is refrigerated, and I knew that, so when I went in, I brought my little cooler in here. It's got ice packs in it. Anything that won't fit in there, uh, the pharmacist will prepare that in a uh, styrofoam cooler with dry ice or ice packs or whatever, so that uh, it stays at the, the correct temperature and it doesn't get ruined. So we got that. We got to take that back to Oak Hill Hospital, which is in Spring Hill, and I got another pickup at the same place love that this one is going all the way out to brandon uh which is basically on the east side of tampa um that one it's the same day so it's really not a hurry and chances are i won't take that one straight through most likely i'll hand that off to another driver maybe down in pinellas county and he could take it for the final delivery and that way i can stay over here in uh in in this area today uh, well, we'll see what happens. You never know how the day is going to go. No two days are ever the same in this business. Believe me, it's not. Uh, I could be anywhere from 
Sarasota to Lakeland to Citrus and everywhere in between. But uh, let's get on back to Spring Hill, get this pharmacy delivered, figure out what we got to pick up and start heading towards Brandon. All right, we are almost back to Oak Hill to make our pharmacy delivery and our pharmacy pickup. I uh, do have to stop and get some gas because uh, it's basically, I'm almost empty. Uh, let me take a look here. Average fuel economy is about 20 miles to the gallon. Not great. It's even worse when I use the air conditioner, but this time of year, I really don't need it. Uh, I've used 21 gallons since the last time I filled up. Uh, and it looks like I got about 455 miles on that last fill up. So I do use Upside app. I don't know if you guys use it, but you should, because you get cash back. I'm gonna show you a screenshot. Last month, I made 50 bucks. You cannot not use this app when you buy as much gas as I do. So the best deal they had this morning is at Circle K's, 12 cents off a gallon, up to 20 gallons. Um, at some point, I'm gonna share my promo code with you. If you sign up, you're gonna get seven bucks. First time you use it, so am I. And then I'm gonna get one cent off of every gallon that you buy. And you can do the same for everybody that you refer as well. All right, let's get a load of fuel on here and uh, go make our deliveries and our pickup. All right, so it looks like uh, gas was 304 a gallon today for the 87. Looks like I got a little over 21 gallons and close to 65 bucks. And this is just my first fill up this week. But I'm gonna get 12 cents back for every single one of those gallons I just bought in a couple days. All right, I am back here at Oak Hill Hospital in Spring Hill, Florida, making my delivery that I picked up in Citrus uh, not too long ago. It's now 11 o'clock, and I also have a pickup here from the pharmacy, though, so that's going to be great. And that's got to go to Brandon. Brandon is, uh, I don't know, roughly 65 miles from here. It's going to take about an hour and 15 minutes. Traffic's not that bad, especially this week. There's no school. Uh, when school starts back up next week, it's going to be a nightmare like always. But I don't think I'm going to take this one straight through. Uh, I'm going to have a conversation with dispatch and see if we can plan for doing a handoff somewhere uh, over in uh, Pasco or Pinellas County. But let me go drop this off and get it picked up and we'll see what we're going to do next. All right, so here we go. Uh, it's a uh, quarter after 11. We've been at it for just a little over three hours now. We've got two orders completed. We got one on board. Uh, this one is a same day. Uh, I think I have till about 2.30 to get that delivered out to Brandon. Uh, like I said, which is about uh, 60 miles and, and about an hour and 15 minutes to get there. Not sure if I'm gonna take it straight through yet or if I'm gonna hand it off to somebody. So I'm gonna have a call with dispatch here in a second. Um, getting to the carnivore part of this channel, carnivore courier, um, I'm getting hungry and at some point I'm gonna eat something and it's gonna be meat because that's pretty much the only thing I'm gonna eat over the next 30 days. Meat, salt, water, very, very small amount of dairy because I do like heavy cream in my coffee and only one plant I'm going to consume and that's coffee. I'm going to stay away from cheese for right now. I might introduce that back in as we go and I'm going to get that picture of the scale and show you how fat I am. I'm not going to show you how fat I am, but I am going to show you how fat I am on the scale. I'm going to send you a picture of the scale. So, I uh, let's see. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to show you a picture of my body right now. Most likely I'm not. Because uh, nobody wants to see a picture of a 54-year-old a fat guy. 
I'm gonna wait till I've had some results and do a side by side. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but it makes sense to me. Uh, what else? Yeah, so meat, lots of meat, salt, lots of water. Coffee is the only plan I'm gonna consume and heavy whipping cream is gonna be the only dairy that I'm gonna consume for the next 30 days. We'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna start heading south towards Brandon. I'm gonna call dispatch and I'm gonna find something to eat on the way. I'll let you know what we're gonna do here pretty soon. All right, it's just a little after 12 o'clock and um, I'm back in Bayonet Point or the Hudson area. Stopped at the house, I filled up my water jug and uh, spoke with dispatch. I'm not gonna take this order all the way to Brandon as I suspected. I'm gonna hand it off to another driver over at the Publix on Kennedy in Tampa. So that's about, uh, I don't know, about 35, maybe 40 miles. Uh, take about 45 minutes to get over there. And that's where I'm gonna grab some lunch and I'm gonna get on that scale and take a picture. Show you just how fat I am. And we're also gonna talk about what I'm gonna do to get rid of this fat. It's a lot. See you when we get there. All right, everybody. It's, uh, what is it, uh, about a quarter after one now. We've got uh, three orders complete. One of them was a handoff here at the Publix on Kennedy in Tampa. Let's see here. So we've been at it for what, uh, about a little over five hours now. Uh, we got some fuel. So far today, we've put on about 142 miles. I don't have an order right now. Um, I did go into the Publix to get on that scale, but unfortunately, there was a sign on it that said out of order. So I'm gonna go to another Publix. Right now, I did speak with dispatch. We've got plenty of drivers over in the Tampa Brandon area right now. So I'm gonna head over, I'm gonna head west. I'm gonna go over the Howard Franklin Bridge. I'm gonna go into Pinellas County towards St. Pete Largo area and uh, I'll find a Publix over there and get on that scale over there uh, unless they send me another order and plans change because when you're out here doing this the plans can always change no two days are the same and you're never going to get exactly what you want or what you expect rarely ever happens but anyway let's get over that bridge I'll holler at you when we get there all right, everybody, uh, it looks like it's uh, about a quarter after three now. I'm um, in Largo. Uh, stopped over at my sister's house, lost track of time. <laughs> Wanted to wish her a happy new year. Um, haven't had another order, so it's just those three orders that we started with this morning. Um, but it's still early. Uh, I got a couple more hours to go before it's time to head home. I did find the Publix, though. I'm gonna walk in here and if that scale is working, I'm gonna take a picture of it, see what it says. I know what it says, but you don't. Let's go find out. I'll be back. <laughs> All right, y'all, here we go. I just figured out the title of my first video and I think it's gonna be Need a bigger scale, fat boy? Question mark. With a picture of the scale up here. And a picture of my pretty face right here going. <laughs> 293 pounds. 293. Seven more pounds and I would have reached the end of the scale. It only goes to 300. <laughs> I'm not proud of that. I'm gonna turn it around. I'm gonna get back to where I need to be. Somewhere between 220 and 225. 
but I got a long way to go. And um, I got a lot, a lot of meat to eat. Which brings me to the next point. I still haven't eaten yet today. Um, you know what they say, eat when you're hungry. I was kind of hungry a little bit earlier. I slammed a big jug of water. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold out till I get back to the house, and uh, maybe fire up the Traeger, throw a nice little ribeye on there, and um, go from there. Um, so today, you know, I've been basically fasting since the last time I ate last night. I had about 15 chicken wings, sticky chicken wings, and um, that was around. Probably about 7.30, 8 o'clock. So I've been fasting ever since then. Um, which is not a bad thing. You know, give your body some time to, you know, reset. Get your guts cleaned out a little bit. So uh, I'm going to hit another Publix on the way home. And um, get something to put on the grill tonight. And then uh, we'll see how that goes. But for now, uh, it's 3.30. I'm still in Largo. Um, got about another hour and a half left um, before it's time to head home. Too early to head home yet because I'm committed till 5 o'clock. If I get an order, you know, from now and 5 o'clock, I got to pick it up and I got to deliver it no matter where it's at. Right now, I'm only about an hour away from the house. I could get an order picking up from this area, going who knows where. There's been many days when I've ended up all the way over in Brandon or South Shore, which is in Sun City Center. And then I got a deadhead all the way home from there. So we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys posted. All right, everybody. It is, uh, what is it, 4.36 right now. Uh, I'm still in Largo. Haven't had any new orders since the last uh, little video segment that I shot. Um, I'm going to start heading to the house. Um, there is still a chance I could get an order, but I'm not going to be so far away where I can't turn around and go back, get it picked up, get it done. I might get lucky and get all the way home without another call. We're going to find out right now. So uh, I'm about... At this time of day, no school, traffic's not gonna be too bad. Maybe 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Get up to the house. I'm gonna stop at Publix, like I said, get something to put on the Traeger tonight, and have some dinner because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. And I want some meat. See you when we get there. All right, y'all, I'm back. It's 5.30. Uh, didn't get any new orders um, since 4.30. Uh, back up at Hudson now. I'm at the Publix right by the house. I'm going to run in here and grab a steak and uh, bring that home and throw it on the trigger because I'm, I'm hungry. I got to tell you, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything all day. Uh, I am going to make a quick call to the house, though, and see if anybody needs anything. And um, so just like a quick little recap of how the day went so far. We did three orders. Um, what did we go? Almost 200 miles. Uh, made a couple hundred bucks. And um, got to talk about a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, of course, my my brain has got tornadoes going on all inside about all the different ideas that I'm thinking about with this new channel Carnivore Courier and um, y'all seen this, the scale that's nuts <laughs> crazy <laughs> 